it's time to find out what is behind this picture frame. Uh, so to sum up last episode, uh, we we basically got to the Bloody Baron and his family. His his uh, well, first of all, we found out the Siri and another girl, uh, Gretka, came here uh, to the Bloody Baron, and Gretka's still here, but Siri will it went somewhere. Bloody Baron seems to know where she went, or at least where I could go to find her. Um, but his family, his wife and son, I believe, is missing. So I think behind this we'll find a, a valuable clue. The Baron and his wife <laughs> look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole, and what's on the other side. Uh. Okay, well, there's just a. That's interesting. Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. So I guess I didn't break it open quite as wide as I was thinking it would, but hmm. Let's see what other clues we can find here. There's some red stuff over there. Here's some scuff marks. It looks like claw marks. What? Deep nicks hit with a heavy object. Uh, yeah, well, they look like claw marks. <laughs> when you're a witcher, everything looks like claw marks. Huh. Rest of the candlestick and the wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Toussaint. Yeah, never loose. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Hmm. Down to the winery, probably. There's a bunch of ale and stuff down below. One fucked up face. Led, did it lead me here? No. I don't think it led me here. It goes downstairs. Yeah. What's Damn, this? The trail breaks off. Find something else, though. Talisman. Spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Corpse today. Done poking around. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. I don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men hair Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Mitkops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. 
If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Wanna have a chat with this Pella? Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his gut. Not really interested in his hobbies, just want to ask about the amulet. Hmm. Let's see what that's about, Mr. Peller. He's got all a bunch of chicken feet around his neck, doesn't he? What do you see any of so I wonder if that's in the town or not. <laughs> well, how'd I say? Oh. What did I do to deserve your company? Maybe it take it a little too much damage there. Uh, Alright, so... We made it up to the top level here. Now that thing still is... It's not grayed out, so I almost... That seems like there's something we missed in there. Let's just loot everything in sight first. Actually, I don't really feel like going back in that cave. I won't be as cocky once the Baron's men whip your arse. I'm busy, busy man. God's preserve you. No loot up here, really? I find that hard to believe. Even this little chest? There, that's what I'm talking about. Diligence pays off. Got a lot of stuff to take in here, isn't there? Looks like a nice little hovel to to rest up in. Oh, oh, jeez! I'm just falling all over the damn road. There were some things to loot there. Ah, a balance beam, or we just jump it. I need a balance. Just jump. Got a pair of legs. Can't get up there, I guess. All right. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the loot's at. 
Your mates split the loot between them long ago. At least that's what I would have done. And you, shut it now. Save your strength. Die with some dignity. Hmm. I wonder if this is a quest or anything. Please. Oh, no, I guess not. What? If we just murdered him, would they, uh... I mean, he's gonna die anyway, right? That'd be an okay thing. This is where the Baron is. So I think I've got most everything around here, except for this big building right here and anything that's over here. What's the rush? Damn it. <laughs> Just a little closer. There we go. Ah, oh, some nice dwarven spirit. We can rest up so much. But, uh, I'm not a big fan of resting. Don't waste your time. We've all been going in the bushes these last days. Think I got scabies. <laughs> what? <laughs> the hell? Make up your mind. That you're muttering. All right. Well, clearly, dysentery has not been kind to that one. <laughs> I thought the, that uh, that armor was a guard, and then I looked over and realized very quickly that it wasn't, but kind of funny. It's like, oh god, I hope I don't get in trouble for this. I guess I can't get up there. There's a merchant over here, it looks like, as well. He might actually have some Gwent cards. No, can't get in there. All right. This looks treacherous. But there's a chest right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. I feel like a save is in order after finding that boy, bad boy. Can I get in there? Yes, I can. Oh man, there's going so much loot! So much oh my god! Oh the crowd goes wild! Superior pea soil and a smoking pipe! Wow! Oh wow, there's a dead garden here. Yeah. 
And he's been dead for a while from the... You can hear the flies that have kind of... Swarming him. Eating his corpse. Nice. That's a pretty good find. Oh, diligent treasure hunting. I, I do like being up here. This is cool. Look at that view. Man. Soak in the sights. Hey, you right there, peasant, you. You are evicted from my town. Here's her. Here's a merchant. Got tooth one. Got a bad idea. Nice tits on her. I'm talking about the shrieker. Wreaking havoc in the peasants' coops now. Are you barmy? Oh, we got us a hero looking to save the common folk. You. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. We've gathered ourselves quite the collection. <laughs> Why let such nice things waste away in the peasant's coops? What's the over-under on this guy having finger bones within a little pouch there? Show me what you got. Alright, what do we have? What's that? Ah. Another Gwent card? Ooh, fancy Gwent card. Yeah. That's expensive. I'm kind of good on the food front. Whoa. Level 11? Not even close to that. But you know what? We might just keep that for future use. Ooh, where did I get all this crap? That's awesome. A new crossbow. Who would have thought? What are we going to do with all this crap? Like, I don't need these contracts. I guess it's supposed to be chocolate. I don't know. Do you guys, do you guys think that chocolate is a candy? I, I always consider chocolate to be something, you know, completely different than candy. To me, chocolate is chocolate, and candy is usually like a hard or um, like sugary. I mean, I understand that chocolate's sugary also, but... Oh, casket. That's a heavy thing. I think I should dismantle the blue stuff. Alright, that's pretty good. I don't really want to keep or buy any of his stuff. We're good on that. Uh, let's play some Gwent, though. Let's do it! I'm feeling quite confident. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent. 
All right, so we got a couple things here. Um, let's see, what does decoy do? Swamp a card. That seems really good. Well, no, it's it's got a situational uses like um. Uh, let's see, I've got that one medic catapult thing that when it comes out, I can pull another guy, but I've only got one, really one use of that, so that having an entire card devoted to stuff like that is useless. Commander's Horn's probably pretty good if I could... Oh, this doubles the strength of all unit cards in the row. Okay, I feel like that's a good thing to have. And then we should probably get rid of one card. The ideal situation is we we have as little cards as possible, and that each card is just superb. Um, I think that we can remove the impenetrable fog. One of those, yeah. I think that's good. Yes, I I so love when they go first. All right. Um, hmm. Light on the trebuchets here. Um, hmm. So we've got a lot of range cards here. Spy. Hmm. Yeah, let's get rid of this one. Alright, that, that's probably fine. And, um... Jeez, man. Um, this spy might be okay. Oh, that's Karamats. That's cool. She doesn't do anything special. You know, this guy's probably pretty useless. Because I only have one siege weapon. Uh, I got a clear day. That's probably actually more useful. Let's see what he can do. Oh, he's got impenetrable fog. Alright. Well, let's match him tit for tat. Like I said, match him tit for tat. I'll use my double on the ballista here this round. What else am I gonna do with it? I'm hoping he puts a bunch of melee cards out there. Alright, there we go. these down and then hopefully he plays another melee It'd be really great no well well so if we play this right now he's gonna be a f he's gonna be subtracting eight the burn to 19 we'll be subtracting uh four versus 22.
Come on, pass your turn already. You got nothing. Ugh. Jeez, man. Well, this is kind of the last thing I got on this row. Okay, good. And let's hope that he either uses all his cards up or... Yeah, he's, he's just wasting. He's just wasting time. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that was easy. Piece of cake. They go really hard on round one, I've noticed. So, let's see. Do we get a card for that? Dennis Cranmer! Denny! Ha <laughs> ha! Denny, you're mine now. I feel like I should be crafting down. Ooh, some Gwent. Yeah. All the way to the top, baby. Yearning to play a few rounds of Gwent. That ought to set me straight. Oh, he wants to go first? I still don't like going first. Um, we got good catapult stuff here. Um, probably get rid of her. That probably worked out okay for us. I see we got the blue stripes commando, that's nice. Um... What's our range look like? We have two range cards. So let's get rid of another range card. Oh. That's not what I want to see. I think I'm going to go hard the catapults here again. So the next turn I can use my uh, Torrential Rain. I may be using my impenetrable fog this round. Wait, how did... Oh, he can switch? Well, that's interesting. Huh. We might as well use this leader card now. Yeah, good. Keep pushing them in the ranged. That's what I like to see. Okay, so what was that? That just looked like a new ability there. Uh, fire. Okay, so... Hmm. Let's throw this guy down. That's why if he's got a clear day and he wants to play that, I'd like to know about that almost. You know, I'd like to know that up front. Although, that does, does give him the advantage of being able to place those guys in the, the melee slot. This one's going to be quite huge. Boom! Yeah! Ugh, man. Yeah, I really kind of messed that up, didn't I? Just got three left. Oh, 
I could play a clear day right now. I'm and make him catch up to me. Yeah, let's play a clear day and, and waste it. Well, what is what is what can she do? Pick a biting frost. Oh shit! I didn't know that. Okay, that's good that I checked that. All right, because our next round is gonna be heavy on the me the with the melee. So I guess we're gonna have to play this dude. Jeez. Hmm. He's got two cards left. He's gonna have to have. I say we we make him play catch up. Yep. Okay. All right. Cool. That's all you got, huh? Okay. So they didn't even use their... Their, uh, leader ability. Alright. Fergus, you're terrible at this game. Someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been out of 20 years. <laughs> Master the craft in some respects, if I do so. I'm like myself. puffing out his chest like that. You wish. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately, snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. That's all. Sure, it shouldn't be self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? <laughs> Comfortable, strong, and light will do just fine. And no snark you from you. Thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroth use on Undvik. Joanna, I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Undvik for his armor. Said Tordoroth folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes. North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. So I am. Yeah, this is the real art master armor here. How can I help you? Gwent? Hey, yeah. Interesting lilt in your voice. You were originally from Skellige? Odd Skellig. Spent my whole childhood in Holmstein. Why'd you leave? Always had a liking for the smithy. I'd sit there all day taking things in. The heat of the furnace, the smell of the hot steel, the pounding hammers. At 17 winters, my dad told me he could teach me no more, sent me out there into the world, bid me to hone my craft. A few years on, I had my master crafting papers, then the war broke out and I landed here. Alright, we're gonna rob you blind, just like everyone else. I wanna take a look at these cards we've been getting. Um, so, what were they? Dennis Kramer. Well, he's not very... He's nothing special. 
That's all we got. Oh, this guy, Arcus Behemoth. I'm kind of looking forward to to the when I get enough cards from other decks that I can kind of really customize my deck to to synergize a lot more. Because right now there's not a whole lot of synergy. I'm just winning on strategy alone, like in-game strategy, not necessarily synergy strategy. Ugh. So what do we have here? Okay, of course we're gonna get rid of this. Torrential rain. Ugh, another biting frost. Alright, of course we're gonna go real heavy on the catapults here. Oh, that's the... That's the car that we, we picked up earlier. Oh my god! Wow. I almost wonder if it's all right. Well, you know, let's do a biting frost right now. Well, actually, let's let's keep them, string them along. Ah, uh, we shit. Okay, well, good thing that was there. I might as well put that there too, because we're gonna use our biting frost. Jeez, holy God Almighty! Is it even worth continuing here? Let's try to let's see what we can do. So it's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It still has a nine. And I have to. S Let's play it out and see how things go. Oh, you're gonna pass on that? Oh, that was a great mistake. Grave mistake. I'm gonna run away with this now. So now I just need one more. There. There we go. So he's doubling everything in that row. Jeez. I think the wise move here is to hope that they don't have another torrential downpour, lose this round on purpose, and then use my catapults to try to finish it off. The next round. Oh god, really? Okay. So let's waste this. Ah, uh, he's doing the same thing I want to do. We're just buying his time. So he, the only problem is he gets to keep a monster card at random. Uh, 
I sort of feel like at the end of the first... The end of, uh... Let's make sure to do this. On the last round, where you're tied up, you should everyone should just have to throw down all their cards. Well, I guess that's not exactly what you want to do. Yeah, we should get this. Yeah, because some of the cards will be like, Oh, this guy gets to have this card, but you get to draw a card. That was a tough one. Yona, that was a that was a good match, Yona. All right, let's do uh let's do some crafting stuff you? here. What are you selling? What's good? All right, of course we're gonna want these guys. Mm. The problem is I don't really know if any of these things are worth picking up. Oh. I forgot, I wanted to equip my... Take care. Uh, had like a new crossbow, I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we can sell that as well. We got a third map, is that something interesting? No, it's not it. Third map some I thought I... Did I not... Hmm, where did that third... Ah. Okay. Ah, well, whatever. I could sell all this crap, right? Let's get rid of these pages. Except for I want to keep the maps. Hope me I assist you. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. No, I can't sell those. Damn it. Do it yourself. Care for your soul, soldier. I'd like to know what that says. I wish I could just read it now. Just go into the shop and open up the book and just start reading. He's got a lot of money, though. Repair. Let's get up, because we need to really repair all of our gear. Should I dismantle some of this crap, too? Let's do it. Because, you know, we have so much of this crap in here we've been just carrying around. Blowing ore sounds good. Oh, but that's... That's worth a lot of money, it looks like. Wait. Oh, I see. Maybe I don't want to just automatically destroy this stuff. Okay, so the stuff that... Is junk, maybe I... I can dismantle the junk for no real... ...cost, but I should be more... ...careful about dismantling crafting components. Is this stuff all good? Alright, um... Oh, look at this, so we got, um... 
I'm gonna enhance Ursan boots. What we need for that? Where do we get that? I'm almost level eight, so we could craft that now. Let's do that. Let's get some tracker boots. Huh. Those are lots of green numbers going up there. Oh, that's level 16. Level 8? That might be good? I don't know. So a lot of stuff that's higher level than we are, that we've got. Somehow we got our, <laughs> our hot little paws on gear that's better than we should have. Um, I don't know, I'm not really seeing anything that jumps out at me. This one right here... There's no resistance to piercing, though. But it's 29 more armor. That seems pretty good. And it is light. Light armor, and we want to keep the light armor. So we'll get that. Hmm. Assassin's Gauntlets, we could do. Oh, no, it's still not good enough. What do we need for that? Just some leather scraps? Oh, I could do that. Kind of of the well, I say I'm kind of of the mindset to get the to make this now, but that's five levels from away, so let's not, not bother our pretty little heads with that. Yeah, no, no, this is. Okay. Dismantle. Oh, I can dismantle some of the, this stuff. What, you can dismantle a note into a note? <laughs> Need some armor. Oh, that's exactly what we were looking at before. So long. Alright, I wonder... Oh. Oh, hmm. Well, that was fun. Lots of lots of the inventory stuff, but it's necessary, right? You gotta just kind of plow through that. <laughs> Butkins is dude's name. Ooh, a Gwent playing society. Oh, Philip Stringer. Yeah, we'll go talk to him. Ooh, horse racing. There's so much stuff to do. Um, you know what I should do is is although I do want to do the Gwent stuff. Let's go ahead and do the... Uh, where was that one? It was the Shrieker. Where's that? There we go. Level 8? Yeah, we're good enough there. Because we just, we've spent so much time doing other stuff. So, uh, let's do that. Oh, I didn't, you know what? I just realized I didn't enhance my armor. 
<laughs> well, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, she got the hiccups. Poor girl. You slap her on the back. Now, actually, it looks like all these... It looks like all these houses are open now. Before they were closed, that might have been because it was dark outside. And we were rummaging through when it was... Yeah, so let's go loot everyone. Ooh, a fire oh. swallower. That sounds hot. Dear diary, today I swallowed so much fire. Oh no, that's locked. So some of them are still locked. Wow! Positively brimming with life here. Everyone's out and about. <laughs> I would love for acknowledgement of my character just going through and looting up. Oh! Oh! Wrong button. Looting everything. Jesus. Why do they have to make the loot all button the same as the uppercut button? Like, let's say that you go through, you know, 20 hours through the game, 30 hours through the game, and you meet a character who's like, I don't trust you because you have... You've got, you know, 1,700 counts of grand larceny under your name. So, I'm not hiring you for this really important job. Because you're probably just going to steal from me anyway. A broken rake is worth at least a gold piece. So don't ever, uh... Don't ever pass up the opportunity at a, gold, a broken rake, guys. You never know when you're, it's gonna come in handy. One of those things where you're... Naked and... Afraid and... 2,000 miles from home. And you're one penny short... Of a complete... Well... Let's say a phone call. One one penny short of a phone call. Ah. And instead you gotta gotta wash dishes for twenty years. Come back to your village and no one knows no one recognizes you. Quite the work my man's got, eh? Not half that. Brought him a bucket of peelings yesterday, the feast we had. He's not scared. Man, I swear, they have more little things to loot in here than they do in uh, the Fallout games I've played. And that, that's easy to just fall down a really dark place of looting ev absolutely everything. Spot a cider for you? Or a bit of dry curd? Your ladder's not exactly burst Holy shit, this guy is absolutely ripped. Look at those triceps. I'd like to take a look. Me larder's not bursting. I'm gonna go with that's a good thing. I already have saddlebags that are more than that. So I can sell this crap. What was that? Oh, Shrieker, yeah. Okay. We should break this stuff down now. We don't really need to sell it anymore, do we? 
keep it on cash, I'd say. Especially we're gonna we're gonna hustle this guy for some Gwent. How about a few rounds of cards, Gwent specifically? Yeah, look at that. Look at that guy. There's no way he knows how how to strategize. So we got a. Uh, what did we get? Oh, we're really getting a lot of Nilf Nilfgaardian Empire stuff here. So we got uh, the Fire Scorpion. That's what we just picked up. Alright. I like that Banner Medic. Oh, we have too many status effect cards here. The clear weather might be okay to have. We're not doing good on the siege stuff. Huh, I'd like to have more siege stuff. Um, so let's throw down a... Uh, Go heavy. Let's throw the, down this guy first, I guess. And heavy melee. Although, I'd love to use Biting Frost. Problem is, I want to use this, uh... The medic here. Well... Medic's better served later on, so we'll try to coax a. Jeez, I don't know. Yeah, we'll use our war horn on the front lines here. And this guy can do what again? Impenetrable fog. Well, that's not very useful. That's just, yeah. You do that all you want. What? Did you... Did he mean to do that? What? Did... What? <laughs> oh. I don't... I'm not sure that... I... Uh... uh... Oof, alright. Well, that's, you certainly made that a lot easier for me than... Needed to be. Yeah, he's... I mean, look at this guy's body. There's no way that he's intelligent. Ugh, a torrential rain. So, 
I guess I'm not clear, and I, I kind of don't want to try to test it out. But I think you can only get when you win, you can only get one card per victory. Like I can't, I couldn't fight him again and win and get another card. Once a week or often. What a, what a jerk. Here's what I hope doesn't happen in this game, and I think some games will do this, is after some time, the town will sort of repopulate their items, so that if you go back into a, a house or whatever after enough time, they'll have all their stuff back. And the reason I don't like that is I like to know that, like, oh, I've completely cleared out the village. There's a sense of progress there. And if, if that stuff respawns, then I feel like... I've just been slighted, if that makes sense. I think this town is pretty much cleared out. out. Let's go talk to... Uh... Yeah, let's go talk to the the guy that issued the shrieker contract. Chet. Actually, let's rob him first. And then we can talk to him. It's not going to have anything to pay us with, but that's... That's not my problem. I mean, it's sort of my problem, but I can put a bounty on his head or something. Back up to the 30s on water, I like it. Greetings. Yeah? Heard you have a problem. The monster you call a shrieker. Aye. Prowls about it does. Snatches cows and goats mostly. But it won't scorn a man if it runs into one. Borzoi, huntsman under the old lord, well, he said enough's enough. Claimed he'd put a stop to it, drive the beast away. Mm -hmm. Took a hatchet. Laid an ambush for the Shrieker beyond the moat, where the fields start. It's where we found him. Guts stretched o'er the crown of a tree like gossamer. Took half a day to collect the parts. Put him in a grave. I know times are tough, but I'll need you to cough up a bit more coin. You seek a lot, a few crowns too dear. You seek a lot, a few crap. I suppose I can add that. You are risking your neck for us. I wonder if at any time you can actually go all the way up to the max. I'm so timid to do that because I don't want him to get so annoyed at me right off the bat. High time a professional took a look at this shrieker. Anyone around here know more about the beast? Borzoi's son Simcoe does. Saw the aura with his own eyes. But you might find the lad art to chat with. Still mourns his father, methinks. I see. Where'll I find him? At my homestead. I took the tyke in when he lost his dad. The mother passed long ago. So he means just right over here, right? Just talk to him, he's like right behind the house. Let me be. 
<laughs> I just like a little brat. Oh, you. This kid has a face like an uh, 80 year old man. Just look at this. But to do that, I gotta know what killed him. Shrieker killed him. Don't you know? That name doesn't mean much to me. Describe the beast. Tell me what it looked like. Something like a rooster, but huge. Oh, is that like a, a cockatrice? I heard Ruffler barking in the woods. Glad to see what you were on about. There were dad in the bushes, a hole through his belly, and he was moaning, screaming. I wanted to help, but how could I? How? <laughs> Go to sleep. Go to sleep, kid. Calm. Calm. Take care, kid. Is whipped like an elvy lad whore. You surprised? I tried to dance with a witcher. <laughs> That's right, they did. And don't you forget it. Oh, hey, what's going on over here? You talking to me? Are you talking to me? Oh, my shield went away. Boots a bit big, maybe. Careful not to trip. Halt, I say. I am Rondvid of the small marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor Maid Bilberry, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your. <laughs> I miss first one. <laughs> hmm. Why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the maid Bilberry. Well, why? Um, then swear. Swear! Maid Bilberry is the most loveliest of all. I can't do that. I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah, I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend. Stand and fight. Not your lucky day. And you're dead. Oh. All right, well. You know, I yield. Not enough. Yes, luck stood with you. But, but the next time we meet... Challenge me again. Raise your hand. Draw your sword. Look at me the wrong way. And I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yes. We shall see. Oh, we, we have just found our arch nemesis, haven't we? Now, I want to see this maid that that dude was talking about. If he's if he's willing to kill a hundred knights for her, she must be fair indeed. Oh, a lone flower on the hill. How romantic. We'll bring that to the Shrieker. Oh. 
Well, I hope I don't fight him here. So I want to rest up before I do that. Oh, poor doggy. Muzzles caked in blood. Didn't give up without a fight. Tracks are irregular here. Monster must have started staggering. That thing is huge. Blood. Monster blood. Oh, that was an R.L. Stein book. It's called Monster Blood. Very first book I read from that author in the Goosebumps series. Oh, so great. Looks like it went to the water there. Yeah, you can see it right over here now. Oh, is this it? Is this the monster's lair? Kinda looks like it could be. Yeah. Tracks lead to the cave. The cockatrice. What did he did he just say a cockatrice? this oh Jesus the fuck I'm about to leave. Bomb should smoke it out though the shit was that <laughs> Geralt you're not a very good you're not very good at preparing this stuff are you man <laughs> all right uh, let's do a cat I can look around a little bit oh I didn't even use that did I Where was that cat? Oh. I... No, that's not what I wanted. Drive the monster out of his lair with the salmon, grape shot, or dancing star bomb. But did we see where it was? It's just somewhere up there. Oh, I gotta have to... Okay, I see. Oh, the money! I just need to throw a bomb up there. Alright, so what sort of creature could this be? I don't know, we'll just try some hang hanging man? No, we're gonna be using a silver sword, no doubt. Cursed, maybe? It's not, it's not gonna be Spectre. Maybe an Ogrid? Wait, no, what is a Griffin? I bet it's the same classification as a. Oh, it's right here. Oh, a Drachnid. Okay, 
Yeah, it's good against... I should use the Ard sign. Ard is Telconnect Blast. Okay. Grape Shot, I think? Yeah. Oh, I'm out of Grape Shot. Shit. <sighs> Which one is this? Salmon. Yeah, that, that'll work. I got one shot at it, though. Uh... Throw it up there. Yeah, let's it's not here. Must have fled through another exit. Gotta nab it before it gets away. Let's dance, bitch. There it I'll is. start there. Won't get away this time. Got chopped the tail off. Some toxicity. Uh, toxicity range is a little too high. Come on. Need health faster. Oh, jeez, what is happening? What? What? What was that? I thought I was kicking ass there, but <sighs> apparently not. I'm a little too cocky. Actually, we could probably change our signs out. All right? Do we have anything that we can use here? No, not really. What's that dragon thing do? Dragon bomb? At least a cloud of gas. Huh. It's not here. Must have fled through another exit. Gotta nab it before it gets away. There it is. Won't get away this time. Try to throw a. Oh. Well. 
Oh, wow. He does not like fire. Oh, that bleeding. Let's see. Stamina? I want um, attack power. Oops. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, come on, I've got Thunderbolt. No fair. Uh, stamina regeneration, we don't, or we do want that. Your inventory. I wish that you know. I don't understand why you have so little quick slots. Have you just got to go back to back here every time you want to eat stuff or switch up your stuff, and you can do it while in combat. Got me. Oh, damn it. <sighs> that was a tough fight. A tough cookie. I can't save, damn it. Oops, that's the wrong one. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, you son of a bitch. You thought you were going to get that, didn't you?
Oh, dude, that was so much easier. Just like, you know, dodging a lot more. No problem. Take a trophy. Hmm, what should I take? All of them. Eat its brain, Geralt. Eat its motherfucking brain. A horse? What is he doing there? I don't have a need for a horse. We should save, too. That's exceptionally well done, I'll say. Oh, look, we're not even going the right way. So that cave is still highlighted white. I wonder if there's anything in there. Did we miss something? Well, we can't get up there. Although it certainly seemed like there was some stuff up there, right? There's a lot of extra space and I don't know what cockatrice is in. You know, typically do if they are like dragons in the sense where they like to hoard loot or or whatnot. Clearly they had a nest, they had to have something in there. Why not gold and untold riches? I really wish I could turn off that cat potion sooner. I'm sure there's got to be a way to do that, right? I don't care so much about the toxicity bit about it. I can deal with that. I just didn't like the colors being all washed out. I didn't actually need it. My thermal vision. I know somewhere around here there's an entrance to the city, right? God da damn these marshlands! <sighs> there we go. So I guess the it was pointing me in the right direction to go. I was just trying to take a shortcut. What you gotta eat? Any problems in the future, you keep me in mind. Still not level up? Really? Let's, um, I want to see about Gwent real quick. Um, end of round. Finding cards. Well, I was kind of hoping it would say, hey, once you win, you only win one card
Let's double check that we need any additional tutorial information. I think we've pretty much figured out what these all do, right? Yeah. Let's clean up all this. Clean up all... Oh, do we have any alchemic substances we can make? Beast oil? Alright, yeah. That's great. What do we need for drachnid oil? Aragot seeds. An enhanced curse oil, so we're gonna need some... Camara hide. Hands hybrid. Oh, relic. Mistletoe. How oh, beautiful. Hands beast. Hmm. So this one, I bet we could find some air god seeds pretty easily. Let's see if he's got any. Spot a cider for you. to take a look now oh, of course he doesn't have anything that we need a worthless shopkeep There's a skull oh it's a very creepy skull buy it for a high price Whoa, Dwarven Axe. Oh, yeah. Look at all this. Oh, man. Look at all this stuff. Wait, I crafted that. I shouldn't be surprised if that's there. All right. Farewell. Well, uh, you guys sh should uh, stop by the next episode because I think we're going to be finishing up this one right about now. So. I mean, a lot of inventory management stuff today. Some Gwent playing, always a good time. I enjoy it. Real close to level 8. Uh, let's see, next time I think we're gonna go ahead and look at... I, You know what, we should probably do Ladies of the Wood, the level 6. Uh, Family Matters, and then we should do the other one where we have to talk to... Yeah, the Tower Full of Mice. So we'll try to clean up some stuff around here. I also want to check out this horse racing. Well, actually, where is that? That's pretty close. We could just, like, do one horse race and end it. Let's do that. I want to check out horse racing. But I will not. I repeat, I will not ride my horse over the horse racing. That's sort of like Jeff Gordon driving to uh, the Formula F1 series. And I hope I didn't mix up. Now, Jeff Gordon's NASCAR, right? So I did mix those up. That's like Jeff Gordon driving his way to the NASCAR races. You don't do it. Yeah, it's complete with the checker flag. All right, let's do this, guys. Who else is right? Me, 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 me. As long as it's short and to the point, because I don't wag me tongue for jollies. They call me Radko. I arrange the horse races here. You must have heard talk. Want to try? Say the word. Don't sod off. Want to sign up? Don't need no signing. As long as you're there, come sunset and bring gold for the betting. Ah, oh, finally here. Rules are simple. Choose who you're going to run against, make your wager, then ride to Black Bow and back. First the winner, second the bleeding cunt. <laughs> so, who are you going to race? Stuttering Mama Matko, Iron Arse Hands, or Black Bogdan? I guess we're just to start with Stuttering Matko. Matko. I'll take Stuttering Matt. Yeah, 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 you'll <laughs> si say, I, 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 I'll, 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 <laughs> I don't know if I should feel bad that I laugh at that, but...
What? What? Oh. <laughs> I thought. I thought I. Had... Oh no! It's all terrible. I thought I had to go talk to that woman or do something. Alright. Man, this is a nice festival going on here. And this is like... Dirty Street Racing. Underground Racing League. Because we're doing it at night. I like it. Oh, there's a... Okay. <laughs> Those are just ride right through the bandit camp. You guys didn't really think this course through, did you? Wait, what? That was it? No fair. I could have easily won that. I was trying to preserve my stamina. Yeah, okay. Sign I'll I'll do this. Pay. Yeah, sign me up. Wanna sign up? Duck. Good day, grey one. So, who are you gonna? That's double or nothing. I'll take stuttering mad. Yeah, hey, that's easy. On. This guy's easy. I do have a crossbow. I could shoot. I could shoot that horse. Or Matt. Oh god, where am I going? I hope no one saw that. G, -g, 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 G unit. <laughs> this guy's ridiculous. All right, that's what I like to see. You seem to know horses as well as you do monsters. Here's your go. And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. All right. Who else is racing? Oh, and we got XP for that also? Well, that's just the icing of the cake. Oh, and we got another. Oh, I should have looked at that. Um, well, I guess we could put this there for the time being. Alright, dudes, that is gonna be it. So, uh, thanks for stopping on in. We're gonna do some more horse racing and Gwent playing and questing on the next episode.